Hey guys, welcome back to Golden Aesthetics. This is Artem Vazdalgan. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm in a big bear. I'm here above the sky. And this, this is magnificent. I uh, know this is where I find my peace. This is my church. This is my God. This is everything for me. This beauty is unbelievable. I truly wanted to share with you. Uh, I went here to ski and it turned out to be I'm pretty good at skiing. Um, I want to talk about old school bodybuilding and Golden Aesthetics team and the post that I made on Instagram about the compersions of the two athletes. Uh, I picked Sadiq and Cody Draba, I picked uh, Danny and Al Fitness, I picked Arash and Daz, there'll be some more. Um, there's nothing disrespectful be behind it, there is no hate, there is no negativity. People compare themselves to Frank Zane, people compare themselves to Serge Nebray. Same guys that I just, you know, named, compared themselves to those, even though they're very far off. Um, in my honest opinion, uh, this sport needs a pure competition, not hate, not trolling. It needs a pure combat of physiques. And I feel like Golden Aesthetics team will be able to defeat the politics that's going on in the IFBB because there is no such a thing as a team that stands for something in this sport. There is all supplement teams and this and that, but we are actually standing for something. We are united, not by the contract. There is no contract. I said it before, there is no contract between Golden Aesthetics athletes. It's all binded by passion to the sport, to the art. It's all friendship. And we all kind of connect to, to each other on a different level, more than just, you know, workout bodies or ones united by some clothing company uh, we first come together as uh, people that love the sport love the art and I feel like there is no one out there in the IFBB league on NPC um, that promotes anything like that they all say it they all hype there's things because that's what you know trending right now but we are the ones who've been here before classic we are the ones that um, really truly artistic about the sport and I'm not as I said I'm not putting anyone in a bad light I'm just telling you what we are what we do and what we after and I feel like there is no one in this sport that's so connected so passionate you know about each other as well and we're not really competing with each other we are challenging and motivating each other to be better and the whole team you know the Cody Al Liam uh, Julian Stefan, they're amazing people besides being um, you know great athletes and great physiques they're just very humble people that are not after you know the fame the clicks the trolling and putting videos negative videos about other people you will not hear from them this and we are setting a new standard in the sport and a new um, a new approach to this thing and that's what I'm proud of as I said I will compare my guys to the best Olympians I will compare them to the best people of all time because I feel like Cody even in his young age already surpassed Frank Zane you know same, same thing was pretty much Lime Cali he is like a ring incarnated rec park so these people have pure talent and I will put them out there because they also deserve admiration there's all respect and they will inspire motivate people way beyond the sport you know for some reason like right now politics decides oh this guy has more followers he brings more fans it's not fucking true you're not really inspiring and motivating a young talent to compete you know by not awarding the physique that should be that should be rewarded and I'm not saying that you know these guys are better or these guys are worse I'm just showing showing you my guys comparing to the best that you see on stage it, you know the best for the IFBB in this case but not in my honest opinion and I'm not here you know to sugarcoat things I'm here to compete with the IFBB first of all because I feel like there should be a team there should be a group of people that are um, like a tribe, you know, fighting against this politics by showing, you know, the force of art because I feel like only the force of art can defeat the politics and bodybuilding and and, and fitness. Uh, this is my point. This is the way I see it. And I said, I got so much negativity, so many negative comments that I'm this, how dare you compare, the light is different. Dude, you know it when you see it. And if you don't know anything about a building, you're going to be comparing and saying, hey guys, this guy is better because he has more likes, more followers, and he seems cooler. Which you know it's such a pathetic way of thinking when you look at the artistic bodybuilding and the work and the talent that these guys put in so uh, there's going to be a lot of changes in the way we handle the business the way we compete uh, the way we put ourselves out there because I feel like bodybuilding is missing that anxiety and pure competition pure combat of physiques because there is no such a thing you know for some reason people would like to talk they think that you talk negatively about them when you're comparing them 
to each other, but that's how you know bodybuilding. That's how we understand the sport through comparison. This is the only way to find out who is better and what or not. And people say orange, oranges, apples to apples. You don't compare. No, dude, you know. You know who has a better physique. You know by the symmetry. You know by the proportions. And then I think this is the best way to judge the, the physique. Usually people go into this crazy thing. Oh, he's conditioning and how hard he is. This is not the case, you know, because we're not talking here about the art we're talking about being super shredded because of steroids and how people react in them is also a different way and how, how much of them they're taking so if somebody's veinier and his skin looks grainier it doesn't mean he's better you know because everything decided by proportion I'll take symmetry and size symmetry and proportions over size any day I'll take symmetry and, and proportions over uh, being shredded to the bone any day because you can be shredded to the bone but still not be classic and you know I don't like to use this word classic because there is, shouldn't be a division between classic bodybuilding and bodybuilding. This should be just bodybuilding that's about art. Anyways, this is my opinion and this is my views. And I didn't mean to disrespect anybody, but it feels like when people see me, this comparisons, they start getting butt hurt. But I don't know for what reason. If you know your guy, the guy that you stand for is winning, why would you be so upset if you know the truth and you see the truth? But, but the way that you react, I can tell that you're insecure and you're insecure by your guy. Uh, I've seen people saying, oh, you're trying to bring the attention to your brand or this and that. Fuck yeah, why not? I'm here to stay and I'm here to build the legacy and my guys deserved it. Why not? Why not to put yourself out there? Why not to compare yourself to the best? Why not to be the best? Anyways, Big Bear.